Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This video is part of a series that I'm doing that I'm interviewing young scientists from around the world to tell us their stories, their favorite topics of science, what they are working on, what did they study, just to bring it closer to everyone that is interested and everyone that is watching. Today we have a special guest and now we are going with him. Hi Abdel! Hello everyone, my name is Abdurrahman. My nickname is Abdel, I'm from Egypt and I recently turned 24. I am a neuroscientist to be. Yes, I'm excited to have you here. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, my first question for you would be, um, tell us a bit about yourself. Like when and how was it that you discovered that you wanted to do a career in science, that you liked science? Tell us a bit about that. So I think my initial interest in science began when I was about nine to 10 years old, when I started playing games, specifically strategy games and online games. And it basically had to do with me making a plan and then executing it and then taking the fall for the consequences, whether it's a positive result or it's a negative, and then trying to come up with an alternative. And nowadays I understand that science was basically all about that. It's just you have a question, you make an experiment, and then you have the results. It's either a positive, negative, and then you take from there and move on. Also, when I was young, I was so interested in biology. I really loved like creatures, biological stuff. And um, I used to read a lot of fun facts, biology stuff for kids in the library. And it, it came to a point where I was so interested in knowing how many hearts does an octopus have and why it does have a blue blood. So I think those were two major points why I got interested in science in general. And yeah, that's one reflection of myself. Oh, that's very cute. Um, and then I wanted to ask you, uh, okay, uh, what next? So like you had all this um, interest for science and what did you do? Like, what did you study? So during my last year of high school, uh, an Egyptian Nobel laureate in chemistry named Ahmed Zouel founded his university uh, for science and technology. And this university dealt with STEM research education. So basically it has to do with science, technology, engineering and math. And I, I was determined to actually join this university. So after I finished my high school diploma, I applied and fortunately I got accepted. And I believe that this was a turning point in my entire life because it helped reshape who I am right now. So the university have different majors that deals with the STEM field. And one of those were biomedical sciences, which obviously what I'm interested in because of biology, my biology background or the biology interest as, as I, I explained before. And um, I got into that major and I concentrated in medical sciences. So at this time I was watching a lot of, during my last period of high school, I was watching a lot of medical TV shows like Grey's Anatomy, House MD, all of the, these things and I was so fascinated with medicine but the catch is I was also in the reflection in, in research. So joining biomedical sciences I was able to kind of understand or learn medicine but I mean the theoretical part of medicine with molecular biology, with extensive molecular, molecular biology in the research aspect. So I had hands-on experience in research. I got to learn uh, a lot of research because I joined as an intern in multiple labs in our university and this was something that is not as offered in the other universities in Egypt so it was like one of a kind experience that students at Zwell City kind of got advantage of and um, yeah, so basically I graduated with a bachelor in science, biomedical sciences, with a concentration of medical sciences. And also kind of, it's not official, but with a double concentration of molecular biology. And that was a great decision in my life that helped also me to take the next step for my postgraduate studies. Oh, that's very cool that uh, you have a Nobel laureate from your country that came back and put an university like with all these properties and programs that you're mentioning, it's pretty cool. Uh, then I also wanted to talk to you about 
that I heard, so you are doing this neuroscience master program in Germany. Could you tell us more about that? So I am a neuroscience master student at the University of Göttingen. I joined because I am interested in molecular neuropharmacology. I am particularly inter interested, or my research focus is neuroprotection. I am interested in understanding the molecular pathways that's, that are behind drugs that causes neuroprotection. So basically, how to save neurons from stressors, how to save your nervous system from toxic substance, from alcohol abuse, from neurogenerative diseases, and even from aging. So all of this is that in that focus of neuroprotection and also neurogenesis. I am interested in researching certain drug families called nootropics. And these are drugs that kind of ameliorate or decreases neurogenerative diseases. Oh, that's really interesting. I think this area is very fascinating. But uh, for the viewers that may don't know much about this, can you clarify, like say some words on like what's the benefit for society you know that uh, this kind of research is done these kind of areas are um, promoted so as i previously mentioned as a biomedical researcher who's interested in medicine and how to apply research in it a big portion of the society has neurogenerative diseases and they are like the leading causes of this, of the leading causes of this, like Alzheimer, Parkinson disease. And in those patients, their neurons die and they, the neurons die and they are not replaced. And understanding how these drugs that I, I was talking about, the nootropics, work and how they could actually replace the protect neurons from stressors, we might be able to stop neurogeneration or even better reverse it. And this are for the people who are like with neurogeneration, aging and so on and so forth. And there could also be a possibility for healthy individuals to have not also not only in your protection but also maybe an enhancement of their current like cognition cognition or cognitive state so that's why i am inherently interested in these uh, aspects of my research focus which is neuroprotection and neurogenesis true i think these areas are really important there's a lot of people suffering from these diseases nowadays so anything that you can come up with to like help on on this area of research i think that would be fantastic uh, then kind of to go closer to the end i wanted to ask you if there's something else that you would like to add uh, for everyone that is watching some message you, you want to, to send so i think it's very important for people to know that having a career in science is not like white it has it's good and bad and ugly you will not always have the results that you aspire for and uh, that you want. Your experiment will fail multiple times until it actually works. So you will do, we, we have this saying that 90% of your experiment is basically troubleshooting and the 10% is actually <laughs> the results that you get. So that's one. Another point is that if you're gonna do science, do at least the, the thing or the point in science that you really love and you really like because if you're gonna wake up every single day going to the lab working i think you would want a motive rather than something that you regret for the rest of your life so don't pick a research field because it's uh like a hot topic in the in the industry right now or in just like the, the research academia but rather focus on the, what you really love because then you will put a lot of passion into it and then you will flourish in a sense so that's what i just wanted to tell everyone yeah that's fantastic advice actually i really agree uh okay so now we actually reached the last point of the video that's all the questions i have for today thank you very much abdel for being here for giving your time for this thank you very much mel for having me and you guys stay safe don't forget to subscribe and finally tofa